So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. If you ever wanted to send a full Power BI report in PDF or PowerPoint format, you can now do that. So I'm going to show you how in this video we will talk about licensing if we are going to talk about limitations and what you need to do in order to get it done. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this announcement was made December 7th and they basically released the uh, the fact that you can now, with subscriptions in Power BI service, you can attach a full report in PDF or PowerPoint format. So how it is done? If we go to my Power BI tenant, you can see here that I have tons of workspace and one of the workspaces is called Northwind version 2 and you see this little icon. Yes, the report that you want to attach the full PDF or PowerPoint needs to be stored in a premium workspace. And as you probably know now, there are two types of premium. You have the full premium and then you have premium per user. Both of those licenses are fine in order to be able to do this. So if you have the trial version of premium per user, what you can do is you go to workspaces, you go here to workspace settings, and then on premium, you turn this on, the premium capacity. So you see where you are, and then you can say if it is small or large, this is a small data set, it's the north wind, so I don't need to do anything else. And then you just save it. And that will basically turn on, convert the workspace into a premium capacity. And once you have done that, you can now start sending these um, full reports. So I'm going to pick one report. Unfortunately, you know, it says here that it's going to be rolled out by December 12th. It is December 13th when I'm recording this and I still don't have it, but I'm going to show you anyhow. So you go to the subscribe. According to uh, Christopher in Finland, what you can do is to add a new subscription. And once this is rolled out, you're going to get here you'll see you know, he's here, you're going to get a new, there says full report attachment as, and then you write PDF or PowerPoint, and um, it will get emailed. You don't need to create a new subscription. If you already have an email subscription, you can just open it and edit it and add it, okay? So unfortunately, I, I can't show you, but I mean, it's just click a button. You, you don't need to see me click on a button. So you will click on that and then save and close, and that will email the entire thing. Now, your question is probably okay, Ruth, but do I need the, the users, the receivers of the subscription, do they need to have a Power BI premium license? And the answer is no. It, you can send the report to, they said here, you can say send it to Power BI Pro license. So if the email subscriptors have a Pro license, they will be able to receive the report but they won't be able to access the Power BI premium capacity in the service. So if they click on it, they won't be able to access the report live. They just get the PDF version, which is fair enough. Okay. So, so the one that creates it and the capacity has to be premium, but the ones who receive it needs a Power BI Pro license. Now, I'm not sure if a premium license, the free users will receive it. According to this, it's just pro license. So I'm not sure, uh, probably not. So if you are a free user in a premium capacity, it doesn't seem that you will be able to get this. Not only that, there are a few limitations. Here it says that the report attachment must be 20 pages or less, and the attachment must be less than 25 megabytes, regardless of the number of pages. And the, this attachment will respect all privacy labels and may apply light to the report. So yes, if you have a Power BI Pro license or a premium license, then this is a good thing for you. So go and test it. Unfortunately, again, I can't show you all the way, but it's just click on a button. You will go in there and then you click full report attachment and then you're good to go. So hopefully this is useful for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, that's all for me today. I will see you again, hopefully on Friday. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.